Hi, we're joined by these two wonderful ladies. This is a mother and daughter, CCIE Dynamo, as I told them just a minute ago. <laughs> um, we're going to ask them a few questions for women in networking. So one of my first questions is, how in the world did you guys become interested in IT? Well, uh, I've actually, it's all I've done in my entire career. I, uh, you know, I wanted to find something where I could support my family. And I looked around at the different things that were available at that time uh, that would be a good fit for having a family and, and being a woman. And, you know, it was more male-oriented jobs that were, were paying more and paying benefits at the time. So. Um, I went to a trade school and I took electronics, started carrying a tool bag, and then just moved on from there in different areas of uh, hardware, software, and then finally got into Cisco networking. That's awesome. And then how did you become interested? Uh, well, honestly, I was never interested. <laughs> okay. I didn't want anything to do with it. I, I thought, that's for mom, that's what she does, yeah. I can do my own thing. That's right. And uh, <laughs> so I went to college, I, I majored in technical writing, English, um, went into insurance, and, and found myself just not having as many opportunities as, as I had hoped that I would have. Sure. And so that's when I, I said, Mom, I, I need your help. <laughs> Teach me everything you know. Yeah. And, and that's, um, you know, I, I looked at where, where can I seek other opportunities that will allow me to learn something new every single day. Right. Be able to reach out and change somebody's life as well as my own. But then to also, you know, be able to do something with my mom. Yeah, that's great. So mom, tell us, what were some of the methods that you used to help her get interested? Because she was in a completely different field. So how did you transfer her over to Honestly, IT? Honestly, once that bug hit, well, one of the things, my uh, two boys are in networking as well. So okay. every time we would go to dinner, it would be like we'd be talking <laughs> shop, you know, okay. and she'd be sitting there just glaring at us. <laughs> but <laughs> once she decided she was in, she just really wanted to change. She wanted something, you know, a more dynamic field where she could learn and grow. And once she was in, she was in. Okay. So she started out, we, you know, we started out with some book learning and very quickly, you know, we got a few routers and a few switches and, and I gave them to her and I said, there's no, you can't get into it because, uh, you know, I don't know the password. You're going to have to figure that <laughs> oh, out. Oh, okay. And she's like, whoa, <laughs> what? So, and then we, she learned very quickly how to use, learn to use the documentation and Google and, and all of that. And we just, like, from day one, it was hands-on. And okay. um, then we got an entire, you know, lab kit and went through CCNA and CCNP. And then I was like, well, you know, I've always wanted to get a CCIE. Yeah. Why don't we do that? And she's yeah. like, oh, you <laughs> think I can? And wow. Yeah, oh, and so we're said, like, well, yes. even if you don't, at least you've learned a lot. Right, and absolutely. My but she brilliant did. mother <laughs> passed on her first attempt. Wonderful. Unfortunately, I did not pass on my first attempt. But at that point, having learned a lot just wasn't enough for me. I had to prove to myself that I could actually, you know, actually do it. and. Absolutely. So I just kept pushing on, and she supported me the whole way, and it's been fantastic. Oh, yeah, that's great. We practiced together. We we would uh, for troubleshooting. We had you know our rack, and oh, we yeah. would I'd bug it for her, and she'd bug it for me. You know, we'd put in the hardest bugs we could think of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Yeah. So you studied together mm -hmm. for your CCIE. Tell us what that was like. Intense. Very intense. <laughs> Studying yeah. for any uh, certification, I think, is intense, whether it be CCNA or CCMP or absolutely CCIE. But you know, Studying for the lab was a whole whole new level of intensity. We just we had to tell people that we weren't uh, we weren't home. We're, <laughs> we're gone. You know, and, yeah. and just and helping each other through it, picking each other up when you know, if I wasn't getting something, I mean, she would whiteboard on it for me for hours until I actually got it, you know, yeah. and, you know, 8 a.m. and she wants to stay in bed, and I'm going, <laughs> nope, get up, you got to get up, you know, mm -hmm. so it's it's helping each other through it, and I think that's integral for, for any 
person studying for a certification is to have a study partner, to have somebody that you can you can turn to, whether they be male or female or you know your cat, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. just somebody who can can help you through it is is really important. A mentor. Awesome. And we, and we had a lot of fun. There were there might have been a couple tense moments. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and, I gotta say, you know, um, explaining it to somebody else uh, really cements your, you know, your knowledge. And sometimes you you're explaining something and you figure out, oh, maybe I don't really understand yeah. completely how that works. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was the best way to learn it was to help somebody else. Wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to yeah, talk to us. You. Very you. helpful. Thank it's you. Wonderful.